As the summer ends, one of the thoughts that always goes through my mind is, Ugg season is here. Like it a love it is double enough. You know I'm a hug it. They gonna tell you what you wanna hear. Yeah, what yeah. Else, put you in a nice pair. Best if you don't listen. All this shit for me, I'm making her wet. It's double line, you know we just Ugg has added a brand new member to its line. And guys, guess what? I have my brand new Ugg Taz Brace Slippers. This season, Ugg has leveled up its popular platform Taz shoe by giving it a complete makeover. If you love Ugg shoes because of the cozy looks and feel it gives off, then you'll love this one, not just because it's cozy, but it is just so adorable. Whether you're thinking about purchasing your very first Ugg shoe or slipper, or if you're on the fence and thinking about adding this one to your collection, then keep watching because this will definitely sell out. Once the temperature reaches cold weather temps, or even worse when the holiday season nears, all the popular Ugg style shoes sells out so quickly both online and in stores. And the stores are even worse because the, the lines at the storefronts are just never ending. I purchased my original Ugg Tasman slipper last year and I I was on the wait list for a very long time. When I did get it, I've been really enjoying wearing this during both the cold weather season and also during the transitional season. It's just been such a life changer for me. I made a video reviewing these and if you are interested, I will leave it in the link above. Now let's talk about the overall look for the Taz braid shoe. The outside of the shoe is made with curly sheepskin material and it is just so soft. They did keep the same stitch embroidery along the top as the original Tasman slippers, but this season they did change up the color of the stitching depending on what colorway you choose. They also kept the pull tab at the rear of the shoe the same and this one really helps in getting your foot in the shoe. Currently there are three colors offered for this style, all neutral colors and natural, black, and hardwood, which is the tan color. I think this natural color is going to be the most popular of the three options that's offered. With quiet luxury being as this fall's biggest trend, I can definitely see this shoe flying off the shelves. This color is definitely more on the cream side. The stitching along the top is like a darker burgundy red with a dark brown color and some lighter tan stitching that is not very noticeable but very subtle and just looks really good. The pull tab is also in a darker burgundy color as well. I think this is just a very beautiful color. So if you if you've been eyeing the shoe and you really love this color, I would say get a jump on it now before the cold weather season or the holiday season comes around. I'm glad they offered this in black. This is great for many of us who are more on the conservative side or is not very big on colors. This color can really go a long way with the many different outfits you can create and not even have to think about it matching. The stitching here is in white with a gray tone. The combination of black and white is also a very big trend for this fall. The third color is going to be this darker tan here. I love the color of this stitching. It's a orangey pink color with white stitching and also some black stitching along here. This is my favorite color of the three because I just love the combination of this sheepskin with the darker tan color. It just reminds me and resembles of like a cuddly teddy bear. So I think this is just perfect for the cold weather season. From the three color options, my top choice would be the tan. Most of the clothes in my wardrobe is more on the casual side, so this actually fits my lifestyle. Followed by the black color because it's just such a wearable color. And the third would be the natural one just because I'm so afraid of getting it dirty, especially when it's a fabric material. I think the black and white is more favorable for those who work in corporate offices, who has to dress up or wear suits. These are great commuter shoes for those who has to wear other type of workwear shoes or have to wear heels in the offices. You could easily slip on and off these shoes and put your work wear shoes on. These shoes retails $140. Usually I would try to find a kid's version of these shoes to try to save some money. Unfortunately, they didn't make a kid's version of these shoes and that's probably because of the platform. But I would have hoped that they made one without the platform for the kids because they are just so adorable. I would totally get these for my kids. The height of the platform on these shoes are one and three quarters inch. This shoe is great for those who wants the extra height, especially great for shorter girls like myself. Lately, I've been really into platform. Platform shoes are really great for the longer pant length that we usually reserve for heels. 
Of course, with most of my purchases, unless there is consistency, I usually buy two sizes just in case. Especially with Ugg shoes, I buy two sizes because they do have the fur lining on the inside and also if the style changes, you just never know. I also want to make sure that the fit is good because I do plan to wear these with both socks and without. My size is a true six and a half. I have a size six for both my Ugg booties and also the Tasman slippers. In this shoe, I tried on both the size six and the size seven. Initially, when I tried on the size six, it did feel a little bit tight. The initial tight fit is also what I felt when I first tried on the Tasman slippers. But once I started walking around the house a little bit, slipping it on and off, it did feel just right. I also tried it on with these Hanes tube socks because this is what I plan to wear with my Uggs. It didn't slip out of my foot or anything and I still had a little bit of room in the front. The size 7 fits really good as soon as you put it on. It fits just like how you would want a pair of sneakers to fit. However, because these are slippers, they would slip out a little bit. I don't want to have my foot slip out or have my shoe shift and my feet landing on the edge of the cupping here. I know it's going to be very uncomfortable and just really annoying. Overall, everyone's feet is different. You have to consider the width, whether you have a narrow feet or not. And you also have to consider the type of socks you're gonna wear or if you're gonna wear any at all. It's especially tricky for those who wear half sizes because you have to either size up or you have to size down. I always plan to wear socks with my Uggs, but I know for the majority of the times I'm not gonna wear socks. But to be honest and a little bit embarrassing, my feet does sweat. So I feel when you sweat, the inside of the fur does get matted down a lot quicker. And I feel the inside becomes a little bit more roomier and stretched out. It makes the shoe a little bit more bigger. And in my opinion, a little bit more comfortable. Therefore, I'm gonna stick with a size six for the Ugg Tass braid shoes, just because from my experience, the shoes does get worn down over a period of time from the amount of wear it gets. I purchased my first pair of Uggs maybe 10 years ago. And like everyone, my first initial thought was, oh, these are so ugly, I am never gonna buy them. One day I pulled the trigger and I never stopped wearing them since. Over time, the design has evolved and also the convenience of it. I mean, slippers, how easy can it get? I'm just waiting for the weather to get cooler because I cannot wait to wear these. It's so unbelievably comfortable and the ease of wear is just unmatched. I hope this review has helped for those who are thinking about this style. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.